we talk about the lecture six. It is about the relationship between the organism and the environment. Okay, the relationship in the ecosystem here can be classified in many types. So the ecologists here study the way that uh, the living thing and the non-living components living together. But first, here we will talk about the relationship between organisms and organism first. Get in the app together. So the first type here we call depredation or gala and parasitism, pawa parasit. Okay. Uh, this group of the okay, uh, this group of the relationship here will be one gain. We could use a plus sign, and the one that lost the benefits we use a negative sign, and the mutualism, okay, and proto cooperation. This one both of organism here get benefits plus and plus, okay. The competition both of them lost the benefit negative and negative, okay. การแข่งขัน and commensalism, one uh, one organism get benefit, but another one here do not gain and do not loss zero like this. But sometimes here yeah, now here we already cut the proto cooperation out of the relationship and combine together with the mutualisms. Okay, so we combine them together is now here. The first one here predation, one organism get benefits we call plus sign, and another one here loss benefits give a negative sign okay so the one that lost uh, the one that get benefits we call predator or pula and the one that lost the benefit we call prey or year so the symbol is plus and minus and this relationship here can be drawn into the graph the population of the uh, predators and prey get swing okay so the uh, this is graph of the prey and after that, another one here will be the graph of the uh, predators. So they get swing in the same way. But the graph here seems to be a little bit less swing. Predators. Okay. So when you mention here, the amplitude of the graph of the prey here will be bigger. Okay. And the amplitude of the graph of the predator will be smaller. Okay less wing like this this graph and the example is an, an owl and rat and the end the tiger okay the an owls here will get the benefit as a food but the rat get dead okay so they lost the benefit so we call plus and minus sign but the tiger here get the food from the bodies of the deer and they get dead that is lost benefit the parasitisms it is the situation that the organism here get benefits Okay, but another one here, the one the lost benefit, but the one the lost benefit here is still alive and not dead. But later they get dead because of the they, they get starved or lacking of the food. Okay, so the one that get benefit we call parasite or parasite. And the one the lost benefit we call host or jaban. Okay, the examples here will be the, the symbol is a plus and minus signs. And the flowers. The parasitic flowers, it is a rough years, okay, and the root of the tree, and the parasitic worm and the cater the caterpillars, okay. The uh rough is here, here we take the root into the, the tree's root and after that they absorb the uh, nutrient from the tree, okay, they get the nutrient from the tree and the water. So basically, the rough is here, here. They do not have the the the, the leaf to to do the photosynthesis. So the tree will lost the, the benefit by lost the lost the nutrient, and the parasitic worm living inside the bodies of the caterpillars. And after that, they will get uh, out of the bodies of the caterpillars and form the pupa stage and develop into the develop into the uh, mature state into the adult state. Like this, so they get a living area with food, okay. But the caterpillar here lost the benefit because they lost the nutrient. Uh, basically, the parasite do not kill 
the caterpillars but the they take the caterpillar will get dead because they don't have the food enough to develop into the pupa form the mutualisms both organisms will gain the benefits from the interaction you get plus and plus and plus but this one here we get uh but when they get separate they will lose the benefits so i put the the, the symbol plus and plus when they stay together but minus and minus when they sep they get separate for example the the plant acacias and the ants living together with the acacia we call acacia ant and the leaf cutter insect with the moles okay and the rhizobium is named of the bacteria in the root of a legume or bean plant the bean plant and a termite and this one trichonympha is the name of the protozoas and inside the bodies of the protozoa here contain the bacteria this bacteria here can digest the wood and turn it into the sugars so the sugar here will be the food for the trichonympha and the food for the termite the three uh, organisms living together yeah the first one here we have the acacia ant living in the acacia uh, tree so this one they can get the living area inside the, the thorn here this living area so this acacia ant live in here and they take the nutrient here from the, this gland we call nectar gland and we have the yellow body here this this body provide a protein to the ant and when the 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 the, the acacia ant here get attacked by the uh, predators or the herbivores for example elephant like this the acacia ant will bite the elephants so the elephant here will go go out and the legume plant or the bean plant here inside the root here you will see the knot like structure we call nodules and inside the nodule when you cut it out you will see the bacteria the red bacteria we call rhizobium so the rhizobium species here we get living area because the rhizobium don't like oxygen so they stay inside the nodules of the of the legume plant and after that the rhizobium here we get the fix they, they use the nitrogen fixation process to turn the nitrogen in the in the air into the nitrogen form that the plant can use it so the plant here will take a nitrogen and produce more protein or even leaf cutting insect the leaf cutting insect here they eat basically they eat the moles so they carry the leaf of the tree here into the nest and after that they grow the moles okay grow the mold and after that the ant hit inside the nest here will eat the mold as a food so the the mole here we get the living areas but the the ant here get the food and the termite termite here contain the protozoas inside the body we call trichonympha so the trichonympha here can digest the wood by the bacteria basically here they they digest the cellulose into the sugars by the enzyme that the termite cannot have it is a cellulose enzyme and turn to the sugar so the sugar will be the food for the bacteria itself the trichonympha and even the termite competition okay the two organisms here lost the benefits because they fight together for three things the first one is to get the food the territory in his living area for some uh, animals living area is quite important because the living area define the the pop, the efficiencies of the body uh, to 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 get mating if the male contain a large area or territory they can have more females okay and reproduction three things and the competition itself here can occur uh, inside the same species so we can call the competition uh, intraspecific competition and interspecific competition is competition outside a group and inside a group so we can put the symbols of uh, minus and minus so i will give you the, the example as an animal living in the uh, field in savannah it is a hygiene and lion in the savannah field and the tiger and the wolf in in the forest for example here i will give you this this is three bar basically the three bar here will be the food for the hygiene and the lion 
called but the lion and Hajina here fight together to in order to get the food. So they get competition. Both of them here will lose the fruits, both of the Hajina and the lions. Okay. And the commensalisms. The last type, this type of the relationship here, one organism will gain the benefit. But another one here do not gain or even do not lose. So we put plus and zero. For example, the plant as the orchid plant grow on the stem of a, stem of a tree. And the romela here, or hao shalam, is a kind of the fish live together with the, uh, the shark. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is the orchid. The root of the orchid here, root of the orchid, do not enter into the tree stem. Okay, so they do not do not take the nutrient from the tree, but they just stay on the stem and they take the photosynthesis and find out the food by itself. So it's quite different to the group of the parasitic plant as the uh, Raphisias. That one, they do not have the photosynthetic process. And the shark here do not gain or lose anything. But the Romera here, they, ha they have the specialized scale in order to attach to the uh, spiny scales of the shark. So they attach to the body of the shark. When the shark eat here, they can have a small debris out of the body, out of the mouth of the, the shark. So the Romera here will eat that food. Thank you.